What's up, what's up? This your boy Boss Man. We is back with another video, man. Today I got my special guest, my son in here, my little helper, you know. And uh, so today we picked up some South American fish because we're tired of looking at the pond, you know. Uh, ever since the Oscar died, it's been pretty sad in here. And I haven't been wanting to film the pond, nor does it even look exciting. So I went ahead and picked up some South American cichlids today. So this is what I picked up. We got some fire mouth cichlids. He said they kind of look like piranhas, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we got some fire mouth cichlids. And anybody who knows what fire mouths are, they're a pretty cool South American cichlid. And they get pretty big and they're easy to breed. And we also picked up some pink platinum convicts right here. And this batters three beautiful females and some really one good size male in here. And these guys are gonna look really nice in there from the top looking down at the pond and they're gonna breed like crazy. I'm really excited about that. And then last but not least, we just got two full grown male black convicts and they're gonna help just, you know, keep the population going. <laughs> so pretty much um, what we're gonna do now is he gonna be putting them in there. So what you wanna do is start adding the bags to the water. He gonna start adding the bags to the water and we're gonna let them sit in there and get adjusted to the temperature. And once they get adjusted to the temperature, probably about after about 20 minutes or so, we will add them to the pie and I will show you guys, and I'm gonna show you guys like, some underwater footage, if I can catch it. Got them in there? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let them acclimate for about 15, 20 minutes and we'll be right back. You ain't gonna be able to catch them. We can try. We come outside the backyard and there's a bunny. There's always bunnies in my backyard. I told you I'd go catch her. <laughs> well, I got rocks that I pre-soak in water just for scapes. So I got like a tub outside the side of my house and I go get rocks from the river and then I soak them in the water for a week at a time, just let them sit here. And when I'm ready to escape a tank, I just got nice clean rocks to bring in. So what I'm trying to do now is I'm gonna have to add some more rocks to that pond because it's just not enough hiding spaces, hiding uh, spaces for the new fish. So what we're doing is getting more rocks. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna escape the pond. As you guys can see, I got some caves down here that I just put in that the fish should be able to hide in. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start adding the fish to the tank. So I got my handy dandy net right here. Yeah. And what we're gonna do is lay the net right here. And we're gonna take the fish and what we're gonna do is kind of like a pop and drop because they have been acclimated for a while. So I'm just gonna take them. Plop them right in there. There they are, guys. As you can see, what these convicts look like, it's pretty, pretty good looking males. Let's get a shot of putting them in. Yeah, I got them. Oh, that's a really big one right there. That's a really big, mature male. All right, let's get the rest of them. All right, so we're going to drop these in here. Look at that, guys. Actually, one big female, one big male right here, and the rest is female. All right, so let's add them in. I bet they're gonna go fast. What? Yep. They went right, right into the cave. They gotta get adjusted. This is new territory mm -hmm. for them. And so, last but not least, we're gonna add these fire mouse. That looks like piranhas. Yeah. Like baby ones. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna same thing. We're just gonna. Straight plop and drop. How many in there? Oh, there's still one stuck in the bag. I'm gonna say it's only three. How do you even get stuck in there? We'll just stay little. All right, put them on the camera. So, come over here to add them. Beautiful little fire mouths, and that's going. They're gonna grow up and be pretty big. I'm excited to see how they do. All right, so now that we got them in there, they all hiding right now. 
but I'm gonna let them get acclimated. And then I think I'm going to pick the camera back up and try to see if I can get some underwater footage of them swimming. Enjoy the video man like and subscribe if you haven't and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when i drop these videos and leave some comments in the comment section let me know what type of videos you guys want to see because i'll make that type of content for you so i holla man